my cutoff is. Right. And I, I got to tell you, my my feeling is that schools are highly responsible for the lack of emotion in a lot of jazz players these days. That's right. what I believe mm -hmm. because they're teaching them the wrong shit, you know. And I could go on and on and on because I'm a teacher. And I, 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 I'm not bragging, but the truth is, is I teach them the right shit. Right. You know, I teach them how to play with emotion and feeling and try to tell a story with their music, not just a bunch of scientific bullshit like scales and arpeggios, because that's not music. Those are tools. Mm. And tools are nothing without the heart, you know, and the emotion that comes from playing music. And there's a lot of people that play music that just play with no feeling or an emotion. They just don't know how. Because yeah. no one ever told them that's what it's about. Or they don't, they didn't, somehow they just didn't pick that up in their knowledge and their quest to learn music. They never figured out what it's really about, that it's probably better just to throw your guitar on the floor and make a bunch of noise if it has some emotion in it than to play the shit they play. Right. You know, and that's why usually when someone asks me about a bad guitar player or, you know, somebody that I hate his playing because he plays with no emotion, my response is usually I'd rather hear Stevie Ray Vaughan drop his guitar on the floor than to hear this guy or that guy because they play with no emotion whatsoever. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to mention names, yeah, but no, you know no, what no, I'm saying. Stop there. But let's say they know who they later. are. Guy people, 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 will come, people will come back if they expect you're going to do it later. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Next, next week is the list. <laughs> But there's, there's, like you said, <laughs> Stevie Ray, like, that guy just oozed emotion. The guy fucking just... played his ass off. Yeah, he did. Did you, guys, did you get it. the same live? Huh? Did you get the same play? Yes, live? I saw him live three times. Wow. Yeah. Just saw him. Great, man. Yeah. You know, the, 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 in, in a way, I, one of the things that I really regret is that I never got to see Hendrix live. Right. And there was a, some moments in one of Stevie Ray's tunes or, or I felt like he was channeling Hendrix to the point where I felt like I'd seen Hendrix live, right. you know, because it was just really, he was so on in this one particular tune that really called for that style of playing, yep. a kind of just all balls out playing for it, which is not really his style, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But he really did get really close to Hendrix as far as the spirit of what was going on and some of the things he was playing and the way he was playing them. Right. It was really but, heavy. Yeah, but that spirit is no different than Charlie yeah. Parker, no different than John Coltrane, yeah. no different yeah, than, no different than, than Art Tatum, right. no different right. than, than, you know what I mean? If you look at all the great, you know, listen to Pablo Casals, listen to, you know, I mean, you just listen to great music and these people are reaching way beyond notes and rhythms. Yeah. And sounds. Yeah. It's the human part that 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 makes it. And and we all have to really have to gut check why we're doing this and what we're doing it for in order to bring any of that essential element. And I, I couldn't agree more with Scott. I think particularly in jazz education, it's become an analytical thing where people figured out what people have done before, analyze it, and just like it's like showing somebody a car by by putting all the parts of a car on the floor. Right. See, that's a car. You see, there's a there's a wheel and there's a screw over there and there's a little something over there. You know what I mean? And no, it's not. It's the human. Yes, those those elements are inside it, but right. to to assume that that is what makes it tick mm -hmm. is completely missing the point yeah it's the hard on you get when you drive it right exactly <laughs> that's like not, exactly that's what that's what it's about and and it's you like you know there's nothing else and, and as soon yeah. as we divorce that element from the details of it we are doing a disservice to it but but why do we do it it's the only shit we can teach i can't teach you to feel something i mean i can kick you in the balls and you're gonna hurt for a while i guess i can teach you to feel pain by that but i mean to teach you to really communicate that right i can't do that no man. you can you can i can demand that you do it but i yeah. and i can show you how i do it yeah and i can show you how others have done it but you have to bring that yourself you have yeah. to be yeah. willing because you know what being a, particularly a jazz musician is a lesson in humiliation because every day I am putting everything I've got out on the line in every phrase, in every song, in every approach to every tune and listening to everybody and interacting with them. And I'm always 
at the edge of screwing up or screwing up. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm doing it in front of people, not just an audience, but more importantly, the people I play with who really know right. when I fall down. Mm -hmm. And I've got to be willing to fall down at any moment because, first of all, the real music happens then. But second of all, even if I do fall down, that's where the real learning to get better and to find the real truth in the music lies is in the experience of trying and failing and trying again mm -hmm. and trying again and trying again and living with the fact that, yeah, I know I can play okay. And I know that sometimes I really hit some shit. Yeah. But the most of the time, I just suck. <laughs> yeah. and, and to be able to live in that world right. and yeah. still create and still want to go forward, that is what we're talking about. Yeah. Yeah.